All right. So, um, sorry, just checking my wave status. So we are off on another trip, um, and uh, this time we're going well, south and north, doing things a little different than what I normally would do. And uh, this time we're heading from um, home to Pittsburgh, but I'm going the scenic route as I like to call it, which is basically avoiding the turnpike entirely and going down through Maryland and then back up into Pennsylvania. Now, of course, you're going to ask, why in the world would I do that? Well, for one thing, you guys will see it later. Hopefully, oh, crap, it may rain. Shoot. Didn't know it was that rain. But, um, at any rate, um, that cool is going to drive me nuts, I can just tell. Anyway, um, It's a really neat ride. I hope the weather's gonna be a little better. Maybe it'll clear up as I get west, further west. But um, it's just a really neat ride. It's a change of pace. Um, this will be the first time doing it in this car. The last time I did it, I was in my old car. And I recorded that trip as well. However, um, I started having car trouble out by uh, Grantsville, Maryland. And uh, so I didn't record the rest of the way in. So I ended up junking that video because I didn't record the whole thing like I, ordered, like I really intended to. So um, I don't have that video. What I was hoping to do, if I could find it, which I don't think I have it anymore, I think I actually just deleted it, is, uh, maybe mash these two together, you know, both driving videos and then the overlay of the, of the, the camera facing in, uh, to where the video of the other trip stopped and then just go on to having back to the two like I always have, but that idea didn't quite pan out so hot. Um, holy crap, did Route 30 let out? Good grief. So that idea did not quite pan out. However, um, this time I'm going to go even a little more different than the last time. So um, all was not entirely lost, so to speak. And I'm uh, going most of the same way, except whenever I cut off to Route 40 on the last trip, I'm not going that way this time. This time I'm gonna go into West Virginia and then up 79. And I know those that know geography are asking why in the world would I do that? Well, one, I've never been there. Well, at least not of recent recollection. Two, um, as you guys may or may not know, I've got this device that plugs into the car's computer. A lot of the cell phone providers are starting to sell the same thing, but this one is no subscription. It's just you buy the device and it's yours. But it, in, in this application, what it does is it tracks your fuel mileage, but it also scores your driving based on hard acceleration, hard stops, 
and time over 70 when you're on the highway or else was time over 70 period um, but anyway uh, the company that develops is called, is called automatic and what their labs uh, team has done is they've written a bunch of different like applets that plug into all that data that it collects and does different things with it like they have one that it's a hyperlapse of Google Street View of any trip that you've done in automatic, you know, with the car, with automatic. But there's also, speaking of automatic, I need to make sure the stupid thing's running. Is this just going to be off or not? interested in it's called county driving map and what it does is as you drive with automatic you know the car collects you know where you've driven and so on and so forth it maps out the counties in the United States that you've driven in so it lists so it'll highlight the state when you've driven into it and the county as well but then it'll list you know like all the states and counties you've driven in with automatic so, in knowing that, uh, also by going this way, I will collect four counties, two in West Virginia and two in Pennsylvania, that I didn't previously have. And then on the way back, ha back home, pardon me, I can't talk, I will also collect three more. Um, and... I did try to record a video kind of showing what I was talking about. It's hard to explain without being able to show you what I mean. So if I do use that video, otherwise I may try and splice parts into here so you understand what I'm talking about. But if, if uh, is it 55 yet or is it still 45? I don't know. I'm not out this way enough to remember. But at any rate, um, because that way you can kind of see what I'm talking about. But it's really neat. I mean, it's, you know, I kind of made a joke about it on Facebook because, you know, as of when I'm recording this, this is the whole big Pokemon Go fad that's kind of going on. And uh, I made the joke on Facebook that instead of me collecting Pokemon, I'm collecting counties. And then my uncle, of course, I should have figured he would have countered that, and he did. And he said I should be collecting countries instead. And he's right. And I, cause we've, we've talked back and forth about, you know, well, I want to travel internationally, and he's just of the mind, we'll do it. You know, what's holding you back? You know, don't, you know, it's like, it's like my grandfather would say, the road to hell is paved with good intentions, you know. We all intend to do stuff, but it's a matter of just doing it. You know, setting your mind out to do it and then do it. But anyway, um, so yeah, I mean, this is just, you know, and it's a ch different change of pace. I've never been this way before, you know. I've, I've been part of this way, but I've not been the entire way, and, you know. 
I'm not in a real big hurry to get back. I mean, I am, but I'm not. I want to be like, I want to get you know a three-hour trip, twelve-hour trip. I don't need something like that. But you know, going the long way around adds maybe an extra hour. But I'm also going to do a little bit of extra along with that because because I'm coming up 79. I basically have to go through Pittsburgh to get back out to where my grandma lives. So, I'm going to do that, which is fine. I, I, that's fine. I don't mind. I don't really care. But, um, in doing that, I'm going to also sightsee around Pittsburgh a little bit. You know, see some things that, I mean, I've seen kind of up close, but not really, and others that I haven't. And, you know, just more or less give you guys a small tour of the city, I guess. Because, um, you know, I've been in and out through previous videos and that, but... Um, it's usually been like a one and done kind of thing, you know, we're going to, to one specific place and then we're right back out of the city. So, but the cool thing is, um, and it was funny, I just saw it on Facebook the other day, my mom shared it and then I think I shared it or something, or maybe I didn't, but anyway, it's a video of coming into the city on the Parkway West, which is I-376 for the non locals um, which used to be I-279, I think. But anyway, um, it's kind of the iconic entry into Pittsburgh across the, it's the Fort, Fort Pitt Bridge, I think. Well, in, in through the Four Pit Tunnel and then across the Four Pit Bridge into the Golden Triangle. And it's kind of the iconic entry into Pittsburgh that people love to capture and stuff. So that's, I'm actually kind of, I'm actually going in that way, so I'll also get it as well. So it's just kind of cool. Then once I see what I want to see, I'm going to boogie on out of Pittsburgh to my grandma's. I'm hoping the weather clears up. I didn't know it was supposed to rain today, so... I'm hoping that doesn't make this trip a real dreary trip. I mean, I don't care if it's cloudy. I just don't want to drive in rain, really. I mean, if I have to, I have to. It's not the end of the world. I'm just hoping it can pour. But, you know, it is what it is. can't control the weather, obviously, so. But, yeah, so, um, and, of course, I'm not going to talk the entire trip, because that would be a five-hour video, if y'all don't want to see that. It's bad enough that my videos are almost an hour long anyway. Excuse me, please. Although, I think I figured out partly why that's the case, but hopefully I'm going to start to fix that, but. Apparently, when I started to use time-lapse video, the, um, the way iMovie does it, when it starts to compress the video into, and speeds it up, when you hit, like, it's like there's predefined speeds, or, uh, how, how does that work? It's, it's really kind of weird the way it does it, but it's like when you, when you change it to, like, oh, I know what it is. There's predefined, like, speeds, like fast, normal, so on and so forth. But then once you get into those the other options, like, for example, typically I use fast, there's secondary options that I didn't realize weren't being triggered when I did it. So it wasn't compressing them as much as they really should have been. So, whatever. I know it now. I wish I would have known it then, but... That might have avoided having 12 videos from our trip to Pittsburgh, or geez, to Florida last year, but whatever, it is what it is. I didn't want that, all that footage to go to waste, so it got used one way or the other. But, I mean, of course, I'm not going to talk the entire trip. Like I said, I'll speed up parts and that, but just to kind of give you guys an up, uh, heads up on what you're going to see. You know? And yeah, if, if uh, any, 
anybody from Pittsburgh sees this, yes, I, I am from Pittsburgh, like I've said previously, and uh, it does show in my accent. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry in the same respect. Long live Pittsburghese. And that. Okay, I kind of forced that one, but, you know. Typically, I don't. East Berlin. One county down, like seven more to go, I think. Of course, I've been through Adams County like a gazillion times now. With the convoy and stuff. Things.
always laugh when I see that sign on 15 saying no truck over 40 foot walk, 40 foot long on 77 West, and you'll see why in a minute. This first part of it's freaking crazy. Go figure. It's only 35, but right now, I mean, we're doing 30, and I'm not even mad at this guy, because I know this road's crazy windy. Now, obviously, nobody, well, I can't say nobody, because I'm sure somebody does know, well, of course, the government knows, but besides the point. Uh, somewhere in this park is Camp David. Of course, you guys know what Camp David is. Camp David is the uh, away from D.C. retreat from the president. Of course, the current president is not really used to that much. But. Obviously, been curious to know where it is, but I also don't feel like having Homeland Security and everybody and their brother up my hind end either. But there's actually a few kind of military installations around here. Camp David's one, and then over near Sibillisville is a uh, um, called Raven Rock. It's, it's an underground, well, I, I should, well, it's not, technically it's not underground, it's just built into the side of a mountain, but it's a military installation built into the side of a mountain for basically, you know, if anything I guess ever happens, they can go there and they're safe. But it's like a secondary operations center for the military. my point. I and mean, I'm doing 30 to 35 and that's, you know, about as far as I'm willing to take it. I mean, this is a beautiful park. It's just, this road is crazy. crawling with Homeland Security and Secret Service and you name it, they're probably here. In sight and not in plain sight. Even when he's not here, I'm sure that to a certain point that they're here. But because this part through the park is all windy and bendy and as soon as you get out of the park it takes off and it's really goes to 55 it like straightens out like crazy too it's funny Through here, 
it, so cut tree cover and you almost can't see my face.
because the one exit, I forget what number it is, but the, the, the route that's off the exit is Maryland State Route, State Route 68, but also, consequently, of course, you know, not much further up is Interstate 68. So they actually have a sign, and I, mean, I know it'll be there, but I've seen it already. It says, you know, this is Maryland 68, or I 68, stay on I 70, which is kind of funny. You know what, I think it's actually coming up right here, matter of fact, I think that's, yeah. Matter of fact, there's the exit. That's kind of funny. Yeah, I think the sign's right here, matter of fact. Yeah, this is the sign. Confused the crap out of me the first time I got it, but then I realized what's going on. Next exit is Maryland 68 for I-68 National Freeway Stay on 70. Why Maryland would do that, I have no freaking idea, but Pennsylvania does not double number roads, probably for that reason. I-68 straight ahead. Must be a lot of confusion with this exit. <laughs> Only 18 miles from the breezeway. They can make it a reasonable time. Then I left the house late. I should well, say later than what I wanted to. You know, it's not really late. It's just later than I wanted to. I have no time frame today. Yeah, I've got a hypothetical one in my head, but that's it.